Yo, fellas, if your hair grows straight outwards and you've got this spiky porcupine chia pet thing going on like I do, then this is definitely the video for you. I'm Angel with Self Aware Care. I'm a chemist and I specifically focus on men's care products. So today we're going to be talking about the top four ways to finally stop that hair from growing straight outwards and get it to lay flat. Let's get to it. All right, so tip number one, I'm sure that if you have this issue, you've definitely noticed that the longer your hair is, the less that it stands straight out because gravity's having more effect on it, your hair is weighing more, and so when you are shampooing your hair, you're taking some oils out of your hair, this tends to be more exaggerated. And so definitely, please continue to shampoo your hair and use conditioner. Uh, another good thing to do to help add some weight to the hair and make it a lot more manageable so that you can push it down and get it to stay there is gonna be using things like leave-in products. And I've got actually a great video here if you wanted to learn more about different types of leave-in products and how they can help you. But specifically what I'm gonna talk about right here is I like to use a type of leave-in conditioner or a leave-in hair oil, much like this uh, Moroccan oil. So before I get my hair ready for the day, I'll put something like this in and it helps to basically get it to lay flat how I want as opposed to sticking straight outwards. All right, so tip number two is the haircut. So we just mentioned that the longer your hair is, the more likely it is to lay down and how long your hair needs to be is different per person. For me, it's about a half an inch to three fourths of an inch to where I could start to use leave-in products and um, different types of hold products from like a wax or a pomade to be able to keep the hair down. It's really different for each guy, but you can have it grow longer on the top so that it covers up some of the sides so that you have, and the weight is adding on the side so there's less of that kind of porcupine thing going on. Or you could have it cut short enough to where that it doesn't matter. I know for me, these areas are very problematic. And so I do have to have it cut pretty tightly. So if you're like me and you got a short haircut, you would probably need to have it cut like every two weeks, maybe every three at the most if you got to cut really close to the skin. But uh, those, that's another option that you can use to, to kind of tackle this. All right, so tip number three is a really easy one for you to institute today. This is what I do every morning when I get ready, is I'll dunk my head in the tub or in the sink and, and get it really wet everywhere, dry it up so that it's a little damp, and then I'll put on like a baseball cap and I'll leave this on for till my hair dries, usually like 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes. You could also use a beanie as well. I find that beanies tend to shift around personally and you get these weird parts that kind of stick out. But for some people they work pretty well. But this allows your hair to stay flat for a pretty good amount of time. And especially if you apply product after that, like a gel or something, it is does a pretty good job of keeping the hair in place. So that's tip number three. On to tip number four. Tip number four is an interesting one. If you've ever heard of someone going to get a perm to get their hair to, to lay in a certain way. There's something called a down perm that you can get and you can go get it at a salon, but it's very expensive. It's also kind of damaging to the hair. Uh, what you could do instead is do a down perm at home. So there's different brands for it. This is one that I, I've used and they tend to last for three to four weeks, but basically you're gonna apply this to your hair and it's gonna get the hair to lay flat. And I'll show you an example here of me using it. But if you look at my hair right now, this is the result of me using a down perm and I'll show you what my before looks like as well. But you can see the hair is laying pretty flat compared to what it really wants to do. I have a leave-in product of the Moroccan oil in my hair as well as a gel to help keep everything nice and flat. While we want that hair laying down, what I would love is a thumbs up, give me a like, subscribe, drop me a comment if you have any questions. I'll be sure to get back to them and we'll get right back to the scheduled programming. Before getting started, this is what my hair looks before doing the down perm, and this is what it looks like after I shower and don't put any sort of a product in it. Now, normally I am wearing a hat and I'm doing things to push this down using leave-in products, but this is kind of what it looks like. If you take a ruler, actually, you can kind of see that the hair will stand out about three-fourths of an inch from my head, so it is making my head look much larger than what it actually is. This isn't the worst I've seen people with much more spiky hair, but this is just what the before looks like. So you can see how much the down perm is gonna have an impact on this. Even when I'm using products on my hair, there is still hair that is not laying flat and it is coming out about around like a half an inch from my head. All right, so the kit comes with the actual perming solution. You've got these papers that you're gonna lay on your hair after the solution. You got two, glo <laughs> two gloves so you don't get your hands messy because this stuff smells really, really bad. And then you've got the brush to help with the application of everything. 
And you've got a hair clip right here, which helps to kind of pull the hair away so that it becomes easier to get the parts that you want to get. Oh God, my hands are gonna get so sweaty in here. All right, so we're gonna take some of this and we are going to start applying it. Looks like that. And. Oh yeah, get in there. And then we're gonna take this and brush in the direction that we want the hair to lay flat. Down here, this is where it really tends to stick up because it's shorter. Yeah, so the hair should be really, really tight to the head when you're doing this. The brush side is really good for doing that. Um, to make sure, and you want it to be very wet so that you could apply the papers after. Your hair is gonna be really tight to your head. It's like, a, <laughs> if you've ever seen one of those black lady haircuts where it looks like they've like super hairsprayed their hair in place, it'll look kind of like that. All right, so we apply one of these puppies. It's hard to make them stick, but it's meant to hold the hair in place and prevent any like flyaways, any, any rogue hairs from going around. Kind of hold it there for a second. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's get side two. Oh yeah. Next side of papers, okay. There we go, both sides. Now from here, you're gonna wanna wait five to 10 minutes for this to dry. It really depends on how thick your hair is. If it's thinner, this is gonna move through your hair a lot quicker and dry a lot faster if it's thicker. That's why you wanna wait a longer bit of time. What I would actually recommend from here that's very nice is sometimes for some of these products, it'll tell you to like lay on a pillow to lay on your side, but you can actually just take like a bandana and you can use this to wrap around the heads to further keep that um, flat for the 10 minutes that it's drying. Water Cobra Kai, baby. All right, from here we unveil the glorious hair. Take the papers off here and then rinse it with water, lukewarm water, after about having this on for 10 minutes. And then you pat dry your hair and it also recommends to use a blow dryer to blow it downward. But we'll take a look at what it looks like afterwards. So as you can see, the hair is nice and flat. Now, if we actually take the ruler, we can see that we are no longer at that uh, over three fourths to an inch out from the side of my head jutting out and there's no leave-in product in my hair or any kind of a gel in my hair. So when I do apply that, it's going to be even better looking because I'll be able to keep it more flat with that product in my hair. So it isn't a necessarily going to be a complete like night and day difference, but it is a significant difference and I do think it is worth it. It lasts about three to four weeks. so. You can check out the side by side and see what you think for yourself. So there you have it. There's the four ways that you can handle that spiky porcupine type of hair. I use these tips all the time to be able to manage my hair. And while everyone has a different level of spikiness and some may be easier for and more may be difficult, I am confident that if you put these tips into action that you'll be able to be better off than what you were to begin with and you're gonna find a hairstyle that really suits you. For more science back tips on men's care and aesthetics, you know where to find me. Like, subscribe, drop a comment. Look forward to seeing you next time.